Hey everybody. So today we're going to take a look at a neat little prop that was seen in Star Trek Voyager. So this was seen in an episode called Friendship One, and it was from season seven, the very last season of the show. So uh, in that episode, it's a really good one. Um, 300 years prior, there was a, a Earth probe that was sent out. And uh, it was either intercepted or landed on an alien planet way out there. And then um, the radiation from that probe unfortunately caused a lot of suffering and damage for the people there. And so by the time Voyager gets there, the, the people on that planet hold uh, Voyager responsible for all the suffering that they went through. So Voyager tries to help them heal from the radiation uh, damage and poisoning. And so um, in, it's an excellent episode. And uh, Lieutenant Carey... Unfortunately, he gets killed in that episode, and it's kind of odd because Lieutenant Carey was in, like, I think the first and second season of the show, and then he just kind of disappeared, and then all of a sudden he shows up again in the last uh, season again, because I guess they just wanted to kind of wrap things up. So, um, at the very end of the episode, we find out that Lieutenant Carey was making this really cool ship in a bottle, and so this is a, an exact replica of what you saw in the episode, and... Um, I was talking to the gentleman that made the original prop, and I was able to get information on uh, the materials that he used to make this, and things like, you know, the bottle and what they used for the uh, the Voyager itself. And so I was able to recreate the prop, I think pretty spot on. And so uh, let me show you some clips from the episode, so that way you can kind of get an idea of what it looked like on the show. Oh, okay, so um, here's a clip from the show now. and. This happens at the very end of the episode, so you get a really good close-up right at the beginning when they first show this. So you, here you can kind of see the bottle, and you can see how the stand looks, and uh, it has the same kind of look that I was able to recreate there. Now let me zoom in on the uh, Voyager, hopefully this will focus, but you can really see the nice detail on the Voyager itself. And then you can kind of see how the, uh, the little pedestal that it's sitting on, this part right here, is, I think it was made of uh, wood or plastic, I'm not sure. And then if you look closely, you can see the seam on the bottle, right? Let me see if I can point to it right here. See that little line? So they didn't make it quite invisible. In fact, you can really see it up here at the top, right up here. Let me see right here. You can really see it. So you can see how the bottom is actually kind of overlapping the bottle itself. And so uh, that was the tricky part of building this thing. And I'll go into more detail about it when I show the one I have. But uh, yeah, that's what it looked like. And uh, let me show you some other scenes. Okay, so Chakotay uh, walks into Janeway's quarters here, or her uh, ready room, and so they're talking about the model that he had built, and here you can kind of see it a little bit better. And so in Jane, Janeway is holding one of the nacelles um, on it. She said that he was almost done building it, and he had had one more nacelle to put on there, and so uh, they're just kind of discussing the detail that he put into building this. But here now you can see the lid has got like a little silver, a little silver cap on it. You can see the distinctive shape of this bottle, and then uh, also the shape of the uh, stand itself. You can see the little silver pedestals here and the black base. And so yeah, that's a really good look of it. Okay, so looking back at the one I made now, so um, I, I would have to say this turned out pretty good. I mean, it looks just like the one you saw on the show, uh, but thankfully I was able to talk to the gentleman that made the original prop, like I mentioned, and. So the information he provided was very helpful. So um, this bottle is actually a plastic bottle. And uh, lo and behold, I was able to find this exact bottle uh, still floating around. I mean, that episode was made in uh, 2000 or 2001, so it's been about 20 years. And I found a supply of these on Amazon. It, there was like a box of eight, and it's the exact same bottle they used on the show. It had the distinctive little indentation on the neck over here. And then on the lid here... Um, I, I, they didn't paint it. They, I think they just wrapped it in silver tape because if you look closely in the episode, the, the actual lid has ridges on here, but uh, on the show it's smooth. So I just used uh, aluminum tape to uh, cover this, just like the, they did on the show because you never really got a good close look at that lid. And then um, I thought the uh, Voyager itself I thought was like a little model that they actually built of it, but it turns out that... Uh, they actually just used the um, Hallmark ornament of Voyager, and I think that came out in 1999. And so they just uh, took one of those and modified it just a little bit. And so uh, there were some wires hanging out of the bottom here for the lights, because this actually has lights in it. Um, but they just snipped the wires off and gutted out the wires from the bottom. There's a little section on the top in the back here where um, 
it actually says 1999 I think back there so I had to mask that off and paint it gray to match the ship and I they did the same thing on the show too because I saw some uh, good he was able to uh, the gentleman that made the prop was provided some really cool pictures of this thing before they sent it to the set before they sent it to the studio and so um, I got to see some really good close-up shots of it now um, the stand on the original prop this this whole thing was made of acrylic so they used acrylic pieces and so um, I didn't get acrylic for this I just used wood and uh, I think it works just fine I mean after it, you paint it enough you don't really see it and uh, after you, I sanded it painted it and I put uh, several layers of a sealer on there and it really kind of helps smooth it out so you don't really notice that it's made of wood especially this black part it doesn't even look like it's made of wood at all so uh, all right so let me show you some pictures of when I was building it okay so here's the wood that uh, I just marked out the patterns on here and I actually just free handed these pieces just kind of guessing about how big it was and also the curvature of the bottle just using the bottle to kind of help measure that and then that little bit right there is the little uh, pedestal that it stands on and here we can see the pieces after they were cut out and uh, just some sanding and rounding the edges for the base and this part in particular had to do some real shaping with that to make it uh, nice and rounded on the edge because that's what the original piece looked like and this is after painting everything and so uh, several layers of silver paint on there to help hide the wood grain this piece here as well uh, that turned out way better than I had hoped and then several layers of black on here as well and here it is all glued together so I just used some Elmer's wood glue that stuff is like super super strong and just to glue the whole uh, pedestal part and then I just cut some strips of uh, felt in there to help soften where the uh, bottle rests so it doesn't you know scratch the bottle or anything and uh, just makes it look a little nicer too now here's the bottles and uh, so I ended up making two of these and we ended up uh, I, my dad helped me do this because he's got all these power tools that can do everything it's great and so cutting this plastic was really tricky because it's a very thin uh, plastic bottle and so when you're cutting the bottom, it's kind of tricky. You have to go really slow, and, and you're, you're going to crack it, and it's just going to break sometimes. We we broke two or three of them to, to do this. Um, and then in talking to the gentleman that made the prop, he told me to get this tool to kind of, it looks like it has a little hook on the end, but it's actually a blade. And just by um, going around the edges here, it kind of makes a bevel on the edges so that you can fit the lid or the bottom part on top of this bottle. Because... You know, since these have the same circumference, it was really hard to uh, get this piece back on there. I, I, In fact, I asked him, I said, how did you get that back on there? And then he recommended that tool, which <laughs> uh, escapes me now what it's called. But um, that really helped. It kind of makes it so that one, one goes this way, the angle, and the other one goes the other, other way. And you can kind of slide them on top of each other. And then once you finally do get it on there, that was a real struggle to do that. Um, I just left it on there for a good day or two so to kind of stretch out this plastic and once you did that that bottom piece went on way easier all right so here is the um, hallmark ornament now and so here you can see where the wires come out and uh, many of you probably even have this ornament at home and so um, I had this ornament too but I bought uh, two or three of them on eBay they're actually very inexpensive on eBay so I managed to get a couple of them and so um, you have to, uh, I cut the wires off and I had to pull this green plug out of there and it leaves a hole there. So of course you got to, you know, cover it. And so thank goodness I was looking through my, my model, uh, like extra pieces that are, you know, left over from other model kits. And I happened to find this disc and it fits absolutely perfect in there. I just totally lucked out and found uh, two or three of these. And I was able to uh, find out that it fits perfect in there. So I just painted it gray to match the ship and then uh, put it in there. And, and you can't even really notice it because it's going to be on the bottom anyway. Now here you can see um, at this point I got the little discs on there. And uh, I made two of these because, um, well, I had two. So I figured I may as well make two. And I had so many extra bottles left over. So I'll show you the other version that I made of it because... And I'll explain why I, I made it look slightly different. But um, here you can see the little pedestal piece now. And I fought with that so many times by using, um, I think it was Gorilla Glue or something like that. And it just wouldn't hold for some reason. Every time I was trying to put it, uh, attach it to the bottle, it kept breaking. So 
Finally, I just thought, oh, I'm just going to use hot glue, and I can't believe it, but hot glue worked so much better, and I should have just used that to begin with. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was kind of funny how that worked out. But, yeah, this is just wood. You can see it right there. But when it's painted silver like that, it almost looks like it's made of plastic or even metal. But, yeah, here's those discs, and, it, and they really did a good job of covering that hole. Now, also in those pictures that the uh, gentleman that made the prop provided, I uh, had noticed on the bottom here, the, the actual Voyager is screwed to the bottle. So you can see the little uh, brass screws that I have right here. Oops, I probably would help if I get it in frame. But uh, yeah, that's how the original, the original one was made the exact same way. And so, yeah, uh, just drilled a couple holes in there. And then there's the, the hot glue that's holding the... Uh, Voyager to the pedestal there but yeah this thing I mean it, the whole thing is like really super light because there's not like a whole lot of substance to this of course the bottle being plastic and all all right so let me show you the uh, alternate version of this that I made all right so this is the alternate version that I made which looks um, almost identical as far as the bottle part of it goes but the stand is a little different so uh, the only reason I did this is because um, well, I had an extra Voyager to make another one, but also um, I always felt that it was kind of odd that the the stand that you saw in the episode was kind of, um, um, I don't know, for the lack of a better description, uh, it looked kind of 20th century, you know, it was like, uh, you would think that something in the future like that would have more, I mean, oftentimes you see a lot of acrylic type stuff in those episodes, and so I found this acrylic piece uh, on eBay. As you can tell, I buy a lot of stuff on eBay. But um, anyway, though, uh, I, I can't remember what this originally was, but I just turned it the opposite way of what it was designed for and just made a, an acrylic stand for it. And so, um, I mean, this just sits on here is all it does. And so all it is is just this acrylic. And then I put two pieces of half round styrene plastic on there. It's just like little runners to, um, to support this so that it doesn't go rolling off. So you can kind of see. Now this bottle, I didn't do as good of a job when it came to um, this this seam right here. You can see that it's really a lot more foggy and you can kind of really see it a lot more than uh, on the original prop. I mean this would never pass muster on uh, <laughs> being used on the show. But um, that's why I kind of ended up making a secondary thing out of this. Also if you look at the back, let me see if I can get close enough to this. Uh, right on the back where the shuttle bay is, let's see, right in this, whoops, right here, right on the very end at the top of the back right there is where it had the 1998 or 1999 date on there. So I had to mask that off and paint it. You can just kind of see a little bit of a, a lump of paint right there. So yeah. And then uh, let's see this one here. Now you'll notice there's no screws. It's actually just double stick tape. So I really didn't feel like making another one of the uh, little pedestals because that was a real pain to make that piece um, just because it was such a contoured piece and it had a lot of, uh, you know, edges and stuff on it. So I was looking around uh, Home Depot and I came upon, uh, and some of you may recognize what that is, um, it's one of those hangers that you stick on the wall using that special 3M tape that you can stick on the wall and then pull it off without it marring up the paint on your wall. But uh, yeah, it's just a, a flat version of that, you know, just turning it in this direction. And uh, it looks kind of similar to the pedestal that was on the original prop. And I just happened to see it and it was silver. And I thought, hey, you know, that looks uh, very much like the, uh, kind of like the pedestal that you saw in the episode. And all that is, is one of those uh, coat hanger things. And uh, just hot glued it to that as well. And then underneath you can kind of see, uh, you can see the disc on the bottom of Voyager right there. So, yeah, anyway, so, uh, yeah, this was kind of a fun thing to put together. All right, well, looking back at the uh, original version of this now, so um, that is, uh, that's it. That is the little Voyager ship in a bottle prop, a replica of it, and in case you wondered what it looked like close up, that is uh, what it was made of. That's kind of like the little way that it was constructed, very similar to the one you saw in the episode, and it's a great episode if you haven't seen it. Uh, Go check it out. Uh, Friendship One from Season 7, the last season from Voyager. It was a really good episode. So, um, All right, well, that's it for this video. And if you liked it, please uh, like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I very much appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next video. So thanks again, and have a good one.